Abraham when it's in a certain particular town. He was afraid of that king. The king saw Sarah. She was beautiful. She was so beautiful. And the king wanted her. And so he asked, asked Abraham, Abraham, who is this woman? She's my sister. He was scared to say my wife. Because he was scared that the man was going to put him to death to get his wife. He said, that's your sister? He said, okay, I want to get to know her. Abraham didn't say nothing. He didn't stand up, but he was afraid. But let me tell you, that king brought Sarah into his bedchamber. Come on, somebody said, hallelujah. How God will protect somebody that will say amen, his people. So God appeared Uh-huh. 
you better believe that Jesus came for a reason. Most of those things are basically and spiritual things that will happen. You got people that are blinded to the that uh, don't know the truth. And when he's saying that, and there's another scripture that says that like if the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken heart. And do you know the only way your heart can be healed is by the Spirit of God and by the Word of God to proclaim the freedom for the captive, those that you are bound by sin, bound by a drug, whatever that got you bound, God said you can recover. Amen. You can get delivered. And he said, recover of sight to the blind. He opened the eyes of those that want to see, amen, his word and to see who he is. To say that never to those who are oppressed, and y'all better know, to proclaim <clears throat> the acceptable year of the Lord. God is a wonderful God. He's given us all a chance to make it right. Amen. Revelation 22. I don't think I gave that to anybody. Revelation 22 and 2. Okay. But I thought, who, who got Isaiah 57 and 18? I do. Oh, that brother got Isaiah 57 and 18. Um, go ahead. Okay. Thank you, brother. Brother God. And he showed me a pure water, a pure river of water. Uh huh. Clear as crystal. Mm -hmm. out of the of God and of the Lamb. Yes. Yes. The life of that tree. And that tree. And it, 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 what did he say? We should be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, bringing forth its fruits in this season. He's telling you the water and the tree of life. Oh my God. And it was coming out from the throne of God and of the Lamb. Let me tell you, people, we got somebody who's sitting up there on the right hand of God. He is a, and a mediator. He's a mediator for us. He talked to the Father for us. Amen. And telling the Father, Father, you know, they're they not learning that whatever he needs to tell the Father, the Father, he would be an, uh, a, a mediator for us. I'm, got, I'm glad I got somebody who can negotiate for me. Somebody better say amen. amen. People that is healing of the nation. If this nation don't need healing, the Bible says, so shall it be in the days of Nora. And the days of Son of Man Gamora, so shall it be when the Son of Man shall appear. People get it right. Do what's right in the eyesight of the Lord. I'm not burning in hell for nobody. Can you say amen? And it's not even worth it. That 10 minutes or 15 minutes or whatever it is, it's not worth that to lose your soul and to go to hell. Amen. I'm just going to tell you like it is. Amen. I'm not trying to sugarcoat it. I'm going to tell you what God says. So he healed us. The strength that he took on his back was for all of us. And do you know that the, the, strap, the, the strap that they described it, it was like a, a cat of nine tails and they call it. They got hooks on the end of those leather, leather straps. And when they hit Jesus on his back, it would pull a little piece of meat out of his back. And he did that for you and for me. And we sit up here and don't want to do what he says to do. Y'all better know, you better know where your love is. Amen. And so I, I have to laugh at this. I know one time I told you, if you love God, then, so you know, say, love what love I can do with it, love what I brought you home last night. And I heard this, <laughs> I heard this, I heard this joke saying, 
He was saying, not only love should have brought you home last night, an Uber would have brought you home last night. I had to laugh at that. You better take an Uber. You at the wrong place, take an Uber home. And say, I'm going home. <laughs> Amen. Isaiah 57 and 18. You want Brother to read that. Amen. I have seen his ways. Yes. And will heal him. Yes. I will lead him also and restore comforts unto him and to his mourners. Yes. Listen at what God is saying. He, he basically saying that he is a restoration of God to restore the nation back unto God. He said, I've seen it. Amen. I seen everything that you're going through. He healed the brokenhearted. He said, I'm seeing what you're looking at. Let me tell you, Saul, King Saul died in his transgression. And I want y'all to get a chance when you read 1 Samuel 28, 7 through 9, how Saul disobeyed God and the Spirit of God left him. I, I don't want nothing. God, don't take him. Your spirit away from me. Amen. I don't know about anybody else. I don't want God to say, because you keep doing the same thing over and over again, I'm going to remove my spirit from you. God, please don't ever do that to me. I don't want to be without God. How many of you don't want to be without the Lord? Amen. I don't want to be without God. And then Saul, when he could not hear God, he went to a person with a familiar spirit to try to find out what God was going to do to him when he fight the Philistine. And he found out about the Philistines. When he found out, God said that he was going to um, he was going to be dead with the rest of them because he disobeyed him. Thank God for his grace, his mercy, because we, when we mess up, God grace is the one that helps us and give us mercy and the blood of Jesus cleanse us. Yes. Amen. Somebody let us say amen. I thank God. I thank God for his grace. And I tell you, Father, I thank you for the word of the Lord today that came unto me. Said that he was wounded from our transgression. Lord, you was wounded for us. You was bruised for our needs. The chastisement of your peace. Lord, we the one that deserved the chastisement. But you was chastised for us. You were lied upon. You were criticized. You knew no sin, Lord. But you paid the price for us. Lord, and we are healed by your stripes, emotionally, physically, mentally. God, I ask you in the name of Jesus, let this word find good ground, God, in the name of Jesus. And I ask everybody to stand on your feet right now. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, y'all.